Hello everyone, this is Sunch Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Eternal Cersei from the movie. So let's go over the packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Eternals logo here on the bottom, Marvel Cersei. Here's the Cider of Cersei, uh, and you, you get the Eternals logo there. Here is the back. If you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. Marvel Legends logo here in the uh, top right, picture of Cersei. And then for this way, we'll be bu bu building Gilgamesh. We already did... Icarus, we already did uh, Makari. Still need to do uh, Sprites. Uh, now we're doing Cersei. Uh, we need to do Fastos still. We did Kingo and we already did Druig. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. Here is the top with the Eternal Z. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here is Cersei out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Gilgamesh's uh, left leg here, which we'll go over once we build them. And then we get two extra hands here. One of these hands where she's doing like a weird symbol or sign here. I think that's for her to create like elements or something like that. I'm not sure. I, I don't remember seeing her do this with her hands in the movie. But yeah, we get this. We've never seen that hand sculpt before. And then we get one fisted hand. We don't get two for each hand or one for each hand. We just get one for right hand. And then that's all we got for accessories. Here is Cersei up close. So here's her face. Um, so uh, in the movie, she had more of a red lipstick and she had a little bit more eyeshadow. So this is not quite exactly what she looks like in the movie. Uh, I guess you could probably try, if you want it more accurate to the movie, you can do color in some red in the lips there and then give her some eyeshadow there. But eh, it's pretty close. The head sculpt looks good. It's just saying, just say the paint it's kind of a little messed up there, but then you get the hair all wavy towards the left there. You get kind of braided up through the back there, or kind of tied up there in the back. And then you get her green suit with some great silver details there. I think in the movie she had more details. Like, you see all these uh, sculpted parts throughout her suit, but it's not painted gray. I'm pretty sure she had more gray throughout her suit. But, like, a lot of them seem like they just fade away. You can see some gray in there, but I'm pretty sure if they painted the sculpts here gray, I think it would have made it look better. Like, they did a good job on the arms. Just to, I feel like it's either my, just my figure or someone else's. I may have to look at other reviews to see what other Cersei's look like, but mine looks like it's just kind of plain on the torso part, at least. But you get some nice grays here. You get some nice circle, spiral effects going on for the sculpt. And some grays near the um, end of the sleeve there. And it kind of fades into there. And you get some open hands there. Open hands for both hand, uh, arms there. And then here is the back here with some gray. You get this metallic green, which I like a lot. And then you get the skirt down here. And then you get pinless uh, knee, knee joints. Uh, you get still get single jointed elbows. Um, you get some gray circles there. I wish they painted more gray in the sculpts there. But yeah, and then here's the boots. You get some like padding there around the uh, in the front part of the boots there or heels. But yeah, that's all I can really say. I'm a little disappointed with the paint application on this figure. But let's go over the articulation. So she has a double ball joint, double ball joint head. So she's gonna look down just that far. Up, not that much farther, left and right. You get some head pivoting in there. Shoulders move out that far. 360 rotation there. Single jointed elbows still. You could swivel around there. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. She has a diaphragm joint, so she can go forward just that far. Backwards quite a bit. Side to side motion, some twisting. Legs can kick out just that far. Forward uh, that far. Backwards not a whole lot. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivots. So yeah, that's Cersei from Eternals Wave. Um, so I, the, my only downfall in this figure is really the head movement and uh, the paint application. They need a little bit more silver or gray, whatever you want to call it, uh, through the sculpts and the lines. Um, I don't know if it's just my figure that has that problem or someone else's. I'm going to have to look at reviews, like I said. 
Um, they're starting to use double jointed elbows for female characters now, so I can't really complain about it now. This was before they even thought about the idea of adding more in. So, but yeah, I, male, and then the face paint, the paint job on the uh, face. The sculpt is great. I think it's, uh, there goes all the Eternals there. Um, I think it would have been better if they did a better job on the painting on the face. She had more of a red lipstick and the eyes were a little more shadowed. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. I think she's okay. I think if you should wait on this figure until it goes on sale, if you really want to make an Eternals uh, collection or add it, add it to your MCU collection like I'm doing, uh, I would just wait until she goes a little cheaper. But yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check out my link tree in my uh, description, to help support me on TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and do that. But besides that, that's all I got.